Welcome to Transcribe Me's Transcriber Training. Hi, I'm Tina, one of your admins here at Transcribe Me. Today we're going to take a look at your work history page. This is probably one of the most important pages on your Work Hub profile to you as a transcriber. So let's look at some of the information that's available to you there. If you'd like to follow along in the navigation guide, I'll put a link to that in the description box below. And this section is on page 14. There are two ways that you can get to your work history page. One of them is by first clicking my account and then clicking on the work history page. Or if you look up in the right hand corner, you will see an orange payment amount. When you hover over it, it turns white and shows that it is a clickable link. This is a quick link to the work history page. At the top left of the work history page is the balance summary. This is where you can see the money that you have earned completing jobs on the work hub and how much is available for you to withdraw. When you first submit a job, generally it is listed as pending, which means that the QA has not yet done their editing of the job and so the file is not yet ready to be paid. Once the QA submits the entire session, the amount for the part that you worked on will transfer from this pending column to the available column. When you have reached $20 in the available column, the Withdraw Funds button will be available to you. Please note that the deadline for withdrawing funds each week is Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific Time. Funds are then paid out over the next 24 hours. If you miss that deadline, funds will not be paid again until the following Thursday. Next to the Balance Summary section is the Rate section, and this will show you the rate that you are paid for the different types of work available. General transcribers start at a rate of $15 per audio hour. Please note that that is based on the length of the file and not the amount of time that you spend working on the session. So you will get paid the same amount for a four-minute file whether it took you 20 minutes or two hours to complete. You can increase the rate that you're paid by applying to special teams, becoming a quick step QA, or a two step QA. Some special projects also pay at different rates. Below the rate section is a section that lists your ranking. As a transcriber, you will only have a ranking in the first line. This can give you an idea of how well you're doing as a transcriber. You can find more information about these rankings in the Transcriber Handbook. You will not show a QA rank or drop rate until you become a Quick Step, a QA, or a Stamper. Scrolling down, you can see probably the most important part of this page, other than the payment section, to you as a transcriber. Please note that this section will only show two weeks at a time. If you wish to search for jobs that you've completed previously, you must change both the from and the to dates to a different two-week period. Because I have administrative duties that I do each day, I don't have as much time these days to do transcription or QA work. So there isn't much to show you here. However, a couple months ago, I didn't do more transcription. So let's go back there so I can show you more information. Clicking on the date boxes drops down a calendar. Going back to March, I select a beginning date and an ending date two weeks from that date. If I were to try and search more than two weeks, I will get an error message telling me that I have to choose a period including 14 days. For each job that you complete, you'll see an ID number, the type of job that you did, the date that it was submitted with the time, the amount of time spent, please note, that this is the amount of time that the file was held on your account from the time you picked it up until the time you submitted it. The hub doesn't know if you're actively working, having your lunch, taking a break, playing with the dog, or talking to a friend. The next column is the rate that was paid to you. Again, this is the rate per audio hour, not hour worked, and the overall duration of the file. Skipping over the next few columns, when you submit the job, generally the payment amount that is paid to you is listed as pending and the amount is red. Once the QA submits the session or if the file went straight to the client, the payment color will turn orange, meaning it's available for withdrawal. 
Once you click that Withdraw Funds button, the amounts that will be paid in that payment will turn blue, and when they're paid, they will turn green. If the job has been canceled or rejected, the payment amount there will be listed as zero, and it will be grayed out. If you have a job rejected, there will be a yes in the column here, and your payment amount will be zero in gray. The other information you can find on this page will help you improve your performance as a transcriber. One of these things is the box here called Show Percent. Clicking that will show you the percentage that the QA changed on any file that was looked at by a QA. You can find more information on these percentages and what they mean in the Transcriber Handbook. But just looking at the percent change doesn't really give you any information or help you improve. That's where the view window comes in. If you click this box here, you will see a side-by-side -side comparison with your text on the left and the QA's edited text on the right. It's important to go through these changes to see why they were made. Sometimes a QA changes things simply for consistency but from one chunk to another. Sometimes they need to add a capital to the beginning or a period or question mark at the end. Sometimes they have more context than you do and they're able to figure out some of those tricky words that you weren't able to make out. And sometimes you've made an error. So it's important to understand why the changes were made. If you have questions, you can always go over to Yammer and ask those questions in the All Network section. There's always someone there willing to help. At the bottom here, you'll see the percentage of text that was edited along with a comment. Please note that these comments are system generated and not entered by your QA. If you have done more than 50 jobs in the two week period that you have selected, they won't all display on the screen at one time. You can click more records to see the rest of the list. Another helpful thing that you can do if you desire with this information is highlight it, copy it, and then paste it into an Excel spreadsheet. In this way, you can keep a record of your work that encompasses more than the two weeks that the Work Hub allows you to see. It can be helpful in counting the number of jobs that you have completed, especially for those who are trying to come back to a QA team for probation and have a certain number of jobs that they need to complete. You can calculate things like how long it takes you to transcribe per minute of audio, or how much you make per hour. So that's your work history page. I hope that the information here has been helpful to you, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!